right guys, let's jump straight into it. So you got your Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. Uh, so with this shoe, I'm just going to break it down real quick. So we're going to start with the upper. Uh, you got that engineered mesh from Brooks. Nice, soft, seamless. Going to really hug that foot. I uh, feel like, yeah, the shoe's pretty much just giving you a hug. It's going to wrap around quite nicely. Um, with this guy, they've done a 3D print. Uh, so what that does, it just wraps up quite nicely around that uh, inside of the foot. Um, makes it feel a lot better, just kind of holds the top of the foot down um, and you shouldn't experience any movement in the shoe, just kind of yeah, really fits and feels like it should. Um, your Brooks Adrenalines have always been good at that, making sure the shoe fits well, um, so you can't really go wrong there. So with this guy you've got your guide rails on each side, so you got it on your lateral side of the foot um, and also on your medial side right there. So what that does, although it's a stability shoe, just holds the foot nice and straight throughout the entire uh, stride or your gait cycle. Um, yeah, so whether whether you pronate or supinate, um, although Brooks do plenty of neutral shoes that work awesome, um, this guy can accommodate for both, um, but still does fit in your stability range. Um, so with your Brooks Adrenaline as well, what they nail is that heel counter. So nice deep heel counter there. Um, your foot tends to sit very nicely right up in there. Uh, moving on to the midsole, so your midsole is a Biomogo um, DNA or your DNA loft cushioning as well. So it's pretty much a blend of two cushioning systems running through the shoe. Um, what it makes is just a really soft um, plush cushion shoe. Um, they're designed for longer mileage, so we're looking about a thousand k's out of these guys. Realistically, if you're doing some decent training, probably going to be more so looking around 800, but it is your long mileage shoe. So this guy competes with your Asics Kayano, um, your Sarkany Hurricane, uh, and plenty, plenty more other shoes as well. But yeah, you can't, can't go wrong with the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20. Moving on to the outer sole. Uh, so with your Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20, we've got that blown rubber. Um, nice durable rubber, they've used it for the last couple of years now, so can't go wrong with it. Maybe in the next couple of years they might change it up a little bit, maybe make something a little bit more durable. But with this guy, it's nice and lightweight, gives you that traction and yeah, it is quite durable overall. Um, you got your flex screws running throughout that forefoot area, um, coupled with that one running around that lateral side. So what that does, it just makes it nice and smooth, especially throughout the toe off, so your heel strike or midfoot strike and then kind of crease the front of the shoe and away you go. So can't go wrong with this guy. Um, if we're talking about the fit of the shoe, so this guy I've found personally it fits half a size big. So I'll normally kind of take a nine and a half. Um, I have done in the previous model as well, a nine and a half, but this guy here got to take a nine US. So I had to go down that half size. Um, I'd recommend for yourself probably jumping into your local store trying one of these guys on, see how it goes, but put it this way, if you've loved the 19, you're going to love the 20. Alright guys, so just comparing the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 20 uh, to your GTS 19, so just real quick one, because there's not a lot of differences really. So with your 20, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you got that 3D print, uh, especially wrapping up just kind of around that midfoot area. Pretty much what that does, it just hugs the foot really nicely. Um, in comparison to your last season's model, this guy still wraps around the foot really nice, but it just uses the engineered mesh. Um, so yeah, I'll put both shoes on side by side. You can't notice a huge difference. I do think after you kind of get later into the life of the shoe, you will notice it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it uses the same guide rails on both shoes. Um, very, very similar outer sole on both shoes as well. And your cushioning is the, exactly the same from both shoes. So price difference, there is one. So you're looking at $229.99 for your new model, where you got to 19.99 for your old model. That's retail price. Probably get your hands on a pair of these bad boys. Last season's model on sale very shortly. Um, obviously coming up to Chrissy, probably gonna go down to around that 170 mark. So pick yourself up a bargain. I'd probably chase the older shoe if you can. But I mean, if you've had this guy and you want something that's gonna hold the foot a little bit better, 
by all means, get your GTS 20. That's it from this episode on Beyond the Feet. I'm Josh, Kez will probably be back with another video soon, and we out.